When you're surrounded by cranes, you're probably late to the game. Like about a year ago, I went to Nashville and there were about a dozen cranes in the air. It's a very small market. I'm like, this town is done. Nashville is experiencing yet another year of rent declines. This year, the rent declines are accelerating. This is one of the most important real estate stories, I believe, that is starting to develop. It's becoming very apparent. Do you remember the saying, survive until 2025? I thought 2025 would be the year that things start to stabilize. Things begin to, to look out and you can see light at the end of the tunnel. When we look at multifamily, things actually look worse right now than they have in the past three years. And there's been a lot of white knuckling. I've been surprised at how stable the multifamily market's been. However, there are some strange things happening. If you'll remember Adam Newman's 2010 West End disaster, I covered it in 2023. It folded this year. Equity investors lost 100% of their equity. And this is me discussing it in October of 2023. They paid $160 million for this. They borrowed $120. They're not even cash flowing on the $40 million of equity they put into this. As soon as they have to refinance, they're going to be writing a check every month. But that's not the only strange thing that's happening right now. Prime, Alcove's sister building. This is the Tony Giratana pet project. They decided to convert Prime to condos, despite condos being an absolute disaster. And I'm not exaggerating. There are multiple years of supply right now in the condo market, especially as you get downtown, especially as you look at those luxury condos. I don't think you can overstate just how bad the condo apartment situation is in multifamily right now, outside of the fact that there's not been that many foreclosures. You do have apartment buildings like Prime, Emory, Pullman, they're all converting to condos because they've thrown in the towel on the rental market. And now we are seeing the rental market, what appears to be potentially rolling over in Nashville. Look at this CoStar chart. Notice the highs are getting lower and the lows are getting lower. But look at 2025, it's accelerating down. One thing to mention here, when you look at the trend from 2022 all the way to current, it's only down about 4%. We've been dropping in rents about 1% per year. It's important to realize it's multiple years of compounding downturns, and now we're starting to see that accelerate. So what is driving the rents lower? Supply. It's always been supply. Well, Nashville has made another top list when it comes to growth, this time for one of the biggest increases in new apartments nationwide. The city ranked 15th in the country. Everywhere you go, there are sights and sounds of growth. Most of the cranes you see are for apartment complexes. It's always been about the deluge of apartments and the cranes and the condos that all came online and started getting planned in 2020 and 2021. It was so massive. It was a tidal wave. Nashville, which is a very small market relative to a lot of other markets, at one point had more under construction than any other metro in the United States. Right now, this is a supply story. It is not a demand story. There's no indication that demand has evaporated. Eric Finnegan from John Burns Research Consulting posted this slide, and Nashville migration remains strong. But we are seeing signs that it's flattening or maybe weakening just a little bit. Notice real estate purchases are flat to slightly up this year. They're not moving that much from last year. Keep in mind, this is down 20 to 30% of what it would be if things were more affordable. That means we would need to see absorption in the multifamily space, in the rental space, if we are seeing additional people choose to rent. And we are. There's about 9,000 versus last year's 10,000. See, it is slowing some, but to put it in context, this is basically double the number of additional renters we saw in 2022. We only saw 4,000, 5,000 renters in 2022. Now we're seeing nine to 10,000 renters. These are additional incremental renters. It's also important to note that this is not a rental distress 
story. Evictions are up year to date from last year based on detainer warrant filings in Davidson County, but they're only up about 5%. When you factor in the fact that there's been additional rentals, it's hard to think that a single digit increase would suggest that there's distress. Now, another question I had is, is this impacting single families? Anecdotally, someone on Twitter posted who lives in Nashville, I know him, Chip, he posted that he experienced rental decline. However, in the single family, single family rents have been much stronger and Zillow is reporting single family rents are up and have been moving up consistently for years. So I don't believe this is a single family story. I don't believe this is a demand story. Demand to me seems reasonably strong. It's much stronger than it's been in the past. This appears to be an absolute deluge of supply that continues to show up at higher rates then the demand is showing up. Look at this Alta Rochelle. This is a new building, 1021 South. And you can see in Nashville, rents are $1,521 a month with two months free. That's essentially $1,266 a month for the base rent, which is very low, historically speaking. Now, one thing that these apartment buildings do is they get you in with these incentives and then they charge you for breathing and it's like, well, how is that a fee? You know, they'll charge you for where you park. They'll charge you for pests. They'll charge you for just every little thing. They'll nickel and dime you up. So part of me wonders, if you are a renter, what you are experiencing, do you really feel like rents are dropping or that they're shifting some of the fees to create the impression the rents are dropping? I would love to hear your thoughts because when I see this and when I see what CoStar is reporting, it does not look good. And this is a supply story that started in 2020 and 2021 where there were cranes everywhere. It's still flushing out and it's 2025. I suspect that there's going to be more distress before this gets better. We are going into 2026 much gloomier than I would have thought in 2024. Rents are not stabilizing even with strong demand. Apartments are converting to condos and condos are in free fall. Now, if you think this means that single family is next, please help me understand because I see these as two completely different groups of consumers, but I'm open to being wrong. If you are a multifamily investor, if you are a renter, I would love to know what you're seeing. I wanna know the full picture. Do you feel like rents are actually dropping? I will tell you, I would have thought there would be way more white knuckling, way more distress, and even more foreclosures than what I have seen. I've been shocked. It's not that, that commercial real estate hasn't had its pain, but it's certainly flying under the headlines in Nashville. And with that, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you next Saturday.